Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Anastasia Catwalk Palette. It is not sold in stores yet. It is online only at Anastasia.net, so I'll link it down below in case you want to get it. But it will be hitting stores July 9th, and it will be at Ulta, Sephora, and Nordstrom's, as well as still online at Anastasia.net. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about this palette, just stay tuned and keep watching. Here's the palette and I love the packaging. Also, I decided to do today's because um, I have my inspired nails today. These are nails inspired by the palette itself, so you'll see why. So this is what it comes in. This is the back. So it has the names and everything. I really like packaging. Like, you know, I mentioned in the past review, I'm a sucker for packaging. So this is really pretty. Once you take it out, it comes with 10 shades. This is the palette itself. Look how cute the inside of the palette is. Once you take out the palette, that is so cute. The packaging is adorable. Like I don't want to throw away the box because it's so pretty. But um, my palette got a little dirty, but um, the back is just plain black. I got a little dirty. I got water on it or something. And this is the front, and this actually has texture, so you can feel it. So it's really, really nice. Close up. Okay. And then you open it up, and it comes with a um, pretty small mirror, but it's fine. But you can see how detailed the inside is as well. And that's why the little green and blue nails are inspired by that, by that as well. And then these are all the shadows that they come with. And it also comes with a little brush. This is like a small pencil brush tip. And then this is just kind of like a fluffy shader brush. And I've actually used this, this brush. So I actually like it. But I'll talk about it. In Three shades that are um, matte. Which is this black one. This like maroon-ish brown one. And then this um, more taupey light color. Those are the only mattes. And the rest are shimmery. There's no, oh, there comes with this one. This one is the only glittery one. But um, it doesn't look like it'd be glittery, but once you apply it, it actually has really small silver glitters that are really, really pretty. I actually like it. Um, They do tend to fall out a little bit, but it's, I mean, you just clean it up. But other than that, the rest are shimmers and they're really, really pretty. And like I said, it comes with a mirror, but. Um, and it kind of, it's like a magnified mirror. Like, I've never seen a palette with that kind of mirror. Like, it's a magnified one. So, it's not a regular one. So, like, you get closer and you could definitely do a lot of detail with that. But, like I said, let's talk about the little brush. It comes with a cute little brush. Oh, it also came with a little um, booklet. Just like a lot of other palettes come with, it comes with a booklet. It doesn't state it or anything, but um, it does come with a little booklet. I misplaced it, but um, it shows you different little different ways you could use the palette I mean you just play around with them they're not crazy colors they're really pretty neutral colors I would say this is a like a twist on that um naked naked um palette kind of thing but a lot better in a way because it has colors that are very natural very everyday you know wearable colors but they're different they're not the typical just browns and off white I just really really like this because it's just it's different. Um, there's a couple colors that I love, and I, I don't have anything like it, which is weird because I have a million eyeshadows, and to find a palette that has eyeshadows that I don't even own yet, it's it's amazing. But um, I'll post all the swatches and everything. I'll go ahead and do swatches here anyway, just so you guys could get a better idea. I'll do them right here. So the top row, I'll go from this color down, and. It did come with a little screen that had the names of the palette, but obviously I got rid of that. I don't even know where it is. Um, I'm not the type of person that saves the little screens. I'll save it for like a week and then get you know rid of it. I'll lose it or misplace it like in this case, and then I have no idea what the names of the colors are. But I do have the box still, and it does have the names of the colors there. So I'll go ahead and let you know what the names of the colors are as I am swatching them. So the first one is called Callback, and it's this, hope you guys can see it. It's like a very champagne-y, pinky color, typical highlight color, you know, champagne, and that's a shimmer. The next one is called Strut, 
and this is more of a deep plum purple and this is with no primer on me or anything this is just straight from the palette and they're very silky they're very very blendable it's a plummy purple color with a um, very small like the shimmer is pinkish you're not gonna be able to tell too much but whatever the next one is scout this one is my favorite shade out of them all this is very like a coral pink color it's so pretty I love it it's um it has like it's a coral pink color with shimmer like a dual chrome dual shimmer uh, gold shimmer this is not gonna do it justice but um I'll like I said I'm gonna post pictures and hopefully those are better than this I'm actually wearing that one on my lid but the lighting sucks so don't even bother the next one is beauty mark which is doo -doo -doo, this one beauty mark this is that um that one of the mattes one of the three mattes that is the brown maroon one it was really really pretty so that one is beauty mark the next one's that um black one that you know you obviously always need it's not as black it's more like a charcoal like you could even tell it's not that black it's very charcoalish it's very charcoalish so like black gray okay now the next row this row I'll start with day rate that's the third mat the only other mat that they have that's date rate I I have used this as a highlight like bra bone highlight but because it is more like a taupey pinkish tone I prefer using my own highlight other than that I've used this whole palette with you know all the looks I've done with this palette it's only been this palette other than the brow bone once in a while I'll use my own brow bone color but I have used that one as my brow bone color the day rate but I I think out of all the colors that's my least favorite just because it's almost invisible on my face you can see it right here it's almost it like fades out I can't really tell that's why I like using my own highlight because that one just doesn't work for me the other one's couture and that's the second one this one's um a brown it's a brown with gold sparkle to it oh there it is that one's really pretty then it's rtw that's my second favorite this one so the top one and this one scout and rtw those are my favorite this one is a uh, light brown it's almost like a bronzy color and it has gold shimmer i feel like most of them the shimmer that they have that they reflect is gold which i personally love because i'm a medium tone so gold really look and i'm a yellow tone yellow undertone so gold goes perfect with me and then this one is that gold champagne the other one was more this is like a white gold champagne the other one was more like a pinky tone this one's like a goldy champagne color that one is also like gold like it's gold champagne but then it has like shimmer gold it's really really pretty and the last one oh that one's called 10k the gold one which is perfect name for it and then the last one is called pose and this one is like a, a purple too, but it's a deeper purple, and it has silver glitter. This is probably the only one that has like a silver tone. I still got swatching. It's like all over here. <laughs> anyway, that's the last one. So these are the colors. Look, this is with no primer. I've been using this palette for the past week straight. Like this is the only thing I've been using and I love it like that's why I wanted to do a review on it ASAP because it is online but it's coming in store soon so once it hits stores I highly recommend it like these are so pretty like I can wear these colors every day for a natural look and I can wear these colors for a night look I have a night look that I did this past Saturday and I use like the deeper colors and like I just smoked it out a lot more and it was perfect like I really really like them I feel like these colors are something that you could wear with anything and I feel like for $29 this is a great buy I love the packaging it's very simple sleek you know you could take it travel with it really easily it's fine it's a magnetized palette 
and I really the only thing is that the mirror won't stay obviously some people like you know when it's stay sturdy but um you know you could just place it against something and it's fine and I like that you could pull it back because sometimes like when I'm showing it right now you don't want the mirror to be in the way so I mean that's fine I like that it comes with a little brush and I have used this brush and it works fine like I know most people don't care for the brushes that sometimes come with the palettes but some of the brushes that come with the palette sometimes suck like it's pointless like I can they get lost and they're like this small like what am I going to do with something like this, you know, a tiny little brush that I could barely hold? I like this because it's a pretty good size and it has two very useful sides which are really good to blend, you know, the colors with. And these colors are so easy to blend, like, and they look really, really pretty. Like I said, with a primer, they even stand out more. They're even more blendable. I've never had to use a white base with these just because they're very, very pigmented regardless. And... Other than that, I mean, I love this palette. I really recommend it. I love the colors. I feel like the packaging is adorable. Like, who doesn't like leopard? Like, hello. I love the leopard. And that's why I did my nails. I simply like it a lot. I, I mean, other than that, there's not much else to say about it. So that's it. So if you want me to do a tutorial using this palette, if you want a review on anything else, just let me know down below. I know I had a few people request a tutorial on the eyebrows, which I will do. Eyebrows are like the craziest thing for me. Like I am still trying to perfect it, but I've been using another product by Anastasia, the Brow Genius Kit, and oh my god, it's it's great. So um, that's more for people that have very light eyebrows or almost no eyebrows like me, just because I have really thin eyebrows and they're really um, light, like grayish even. Like so, I need to like completely like rebuild my eyebrow. But um, I do also have the powder from Anastasia and other things that are from people that like just kind of need to fill it in a little bit. I'll go through that as well. I also wanted to do another video, you know, uh, regarding how I treat my acne just because I have oily skin and stuff like that. So let me know if that's fine. Thumbs up if you want those. You know, let me know what else you want me to review or talk about and all that. And other than that, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.